This is so ridiculous. I cannot believe I'm gonna have to ask these people for ID. Hey everybody, I am back in the car and back on a dash. It's Sunday. It's January 7th and it's about 10 a.m. in the morning. I'm out a little early today. Um, and it's apparently for no reason because I have both apps on and I only received one order and it was a bad one on DoorDash. So, oh, here's another one. $4.50, 0.8 miles for Taco Bell. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Just because I want something to do. And it's better than the other order I got. So let's go ahead and do this little baby order. So I'm just like, I'm feeling real off today. I have arrived and it's not gonna be ready, I'm sure. He, why does it look so dark in there? Are they open? Are they open? Open daily at 9 a.m. Yeah, there's somebody in there. Why does it look so dark in there? Um, I'm just, I'm feeling off today. Like, I'm feeling off. Like, I feel like, I feel like my gallbladder is kind of like, and you know, when that happens, that just makes you kind of feel like blah. And then I'm just kind of like, the morning was kind of off. And then I, you know, I went to the Wawa and I was leaving, and as I was leaving um, and pulling through the parking lot, like, I pulled out and I didn't see that there was, like, a car just coming right there. I mean, I didn't, like, cut it off, cut it off, but, like, I went in front of it, and then, like, I was like, oh, like, let me hurry up, because I just, you know, went in front of this car, but then when I went to hurry up, like, I hit the curb, I hit the curb, and, like, went up over the curb in front of this car that, that I just cut off, so... Oh, that's how my day is starting, everybody. This uh, Taco Bell drop-off, which I did have to wait for, by the way, is going to the post office. It says, to, it says this was this. Leave at my door, United States Post Office, ring doorbell at Brown Door in lobby as soon right as you walk in. Turn right Street North. Why is there, why is there somebody at the, it's Sunday. Why is there somebody at the post office? Aren't they supposed to be closed? Eleven twenty-five for 11 miles, one item from Office Depot going all the way to the tip. That's gonna be a no. So, it is 10.32, and um, the only order I've done is that Taco Bell order. I'm over here, let me show you, I'm over here by the Bob Evans. There's a McDonald's over there. Chick-fil-A is on the other side, but it's Sunday, so they're closed. But um, I was sitting somewhere else, and I was like, you know what, I didn't really eat anything before I left. I'll go grab some breakfast. And I thought, like, as soon as I go to, like go get something to eat I'm sure to get an order it didn't happen so I think that I am gonna go ahead and go somewhere else because nothing is happening here and it's it's 1034 and I've made four dollars and whatever that was 25 cents 50 cents for that Taco Bell order and that's it And that's it. So let's go somewhere else and um, see if we can snatch something up. $5.20, 7.2 miles for the Maple Street Biscuit Company. I'm not going to take that. And on DoorDash, $6.25, six items, 3.2 miles for the dollar general. I don't want to take that either. 7 Eleven, 2.8 miles Einstein. Let's hope they're not completely busy taking it. $5.25 
$5.25, 6.1 miles for Starbucks. I'm going to skip it. ABC is not even alcohol. Coca-Cola classic soda cans fridge pack and it's saying ID is required. Do you see that? Why would ID? I'm so oh gosh. I forgot to turn this off. Oh man, that's a good one too. $13.04. 5.3 miles for Chipotle. Man, that was a good one too. I was just about I was just about to log off and it popped up another order on the screen. I just got the text the reminding me that this order has alcohol. It does not have alcohol. This is so ridiculous. I cannot believe I'm gonna have to ask these people for ID. I'm gonna text these people to let them know that. <sighs> that I'm gonna need their ID to complete the order. This is your DoorDash driver, period. Because your order is from ABC Liquor, comma, it puts the comma, oh my god, DoorDash thinks the order has alcohol, thinks that, oh my god, I'll just fucking type it for God's sake, oh my god. Well, at least he was nice about it. $4.50, 6.1 miles for Starbucks. I'm gonna skip it. $3.09, 5.7 miles. Not taking it. $3.65, 7.7 miles for Starbucks. I'm not taking it. $6.50, 7.3 miles for Hong Kong Chinese. I am not taking it. Well, kids, um sitting here again not getting orders i've been sitting here for about 10 minutes probably and um the only order i got was that that 650 for seven miles for something i don't remember what it was for um it's just so slow today and i am sitting here getting tired like i'm getting tired i want to take a nap I need something to do. I need something to do. Because sitting here is wasting my time and making me tired, like I said. $6.25, 4.9 miles for PDQ. I mean, that's fine. Thank you. just about to drop this off and I came to a four-way stop okay uh, along uh, with another chick she was coming up she was coming this way and I was going this way she didn't even stop at the stop sign like she didn't even slow down like she didn't even attempt to stop at the stop sign she just like ran through the stop sign like it's okay anyway <laughs> Let me drop this hair off. This PDQ smells good. They got some tenders and some fries. I'm so bored. I am so bored and tired. Oh my god. But 
the, the, the voice recognition is getting on my nerves so bad. It's getting on my nerves. Like, and I don't, I'm not even like taking the time to like correct it when it does things wrong. Like right now I, cause what I, I say left at door, have a great day. Okay. That's what I say. That's what I say every time I drop something off. Okay. That's what I put in the little message. This one said the left outdoor. Oh, sorry. Left outdoor. Have a great day. And yesterday, yesterday, one of them said left at door. Have a great thing. And I don't know how it got thing out of that, but I'm like, whatever. And I sent it. I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm so tired right now. I'm so tired. Oh, what do we got? $12.39. It's 10.9 miles for teriyaki, teriyaki, teriyaki madness. Oh, that's going to take me like all the way. Oh, whatever. I don't give a fuck. $7.65, 8.6 miles for two orders. Not a chance, friends. Move out of the way. Move out of the way! Let's see. $9.75, four miles, two liquor items. Don't look, I'm gonna look at the address right there. That's fine, I guess. No. Take the next right onto 46th Avenue North, then your destination will be on the right. For God's sake, GoPro, I didn't even stop that hard. here your destination is on the right in this place the customer requested you hand them the order um or is it the they next added place? the following instructions hand it to me hand it to you i'm not sure where you are nine dollars 25 cents 4.4 miles for seven items to shop at target i'm not satisfied with that offer so i'm declining Four dollars and eight cents, three point one miles for I hope I'm not taking it. Three dollars, one point eight miles for little Caesars. That's a no. Everybody, we got a six dollar one point five mile McDonald's order. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Can y'all see all the crows? They're like everywhere. They're just like having a party over here. They're in the trees, they're on the electric lines, flying all around. I want to be friends with crows. I want to be, I want to be like Maleficent, you know? And just have like a crow friend. I'm not joking.
family meal thing and they put it like don't listen oh it didn't say the address that's weird leave a door oh it's in spanish hold on déjalo en la puerta 2306 because i'm not going to know how to say that del building oh wait i shouldn't be telling you this information <laughs> um like look how they did it. it i can't even pick it up like they put the sticker do you understand like i can't because they put it right over the thing oh my god it makes it difficult people like i'm just afraid this box is just gonna freaking bust open Left that door, period. Have a great day, period. <laughs> that, time it, that time it put left that door. And I sent it. Okay. Let's continue. $5.50, 4.5 miles for Kenny's Corner Restaurant. That's fine. taking a break and I sat myself right over here in the middle of where all the crows are and there's some other birds over here too I think those are some grackles maybe I don't know I'm gonna make friends with these crows I ain't even playing me and these crows baby we about to be tight we about to be tight and then they're gonna remember my face and then if somebody tries to mess with me, the crows, all of them, they'll come to my defense and they'll peck you to death. That's right. Peck you to death. Oh no, they're getting spooked. Oh no, are they leaving? Come back. Wait. Wait. Oh no, the other birds are leaving too. What? All the crows are like up there. I don't think they're going to notice if I give them a fry because they're too far away now. Oh man. We have a $7, 2.7 mile Little Caesar order. Mm. Accepting. Mm. Oh, and look Head at north that. on Park Street North, then turn right onto Park Boulevard. Okay, because guess what? I'm turning left. Turn I'm right turning onto Park left. Boulevard. In a quarter mile, what? turn left. Oh my god. In a quarter mile, make a U-turn at West Links Terrace. Why did a man show up? next one is 12 minutes away how's it and it's 4.9 miles when I accepted it it was six something for three miles so how is it how is it 4.9 miles now can somebody explain that to me I'm gonna leave it open
Have a great day. Oh my God, come on. It is 4.40, let me see. Let me see. Let me... Ooh, ooh, my dash ended. You've been logged out because you paused your dash for more than 35 minutes. Yeah, that took a while. It sure did. And now, let's see. I do have a dash now. Um, I don't know. I kind of don't know what I want to do because it is, like I said, it's 440. And I have a live tonight because, you know, I always do a live when I reach my next thousand subscribers. So we've reached 6,000. So I have a live scheduled for tonight. So I don't know how late I want to stay out because also yesterday my clips from Saturday, I was having a hard time getting them to download to my computer. And so I actually did not get any editing done yesterday. So I kind of need some time to do some editing because I don't really have time during the week to do much. So I'm kind of like, and it's not busy out here. You know what I'm saying? So like, why turn DoorDash back on? Let's look at the stats, shall we? I, the last, you know, the last two, um, oops, I think only one tip has come in because I don't remember what I accepted it for. I think it was like, it was eight and then it was six and it's only showing 10 so far. So I think we're still waiting on about $4 to come in on the oobs. But so far, oh and here, come, here comes somebody parking right next to me. Oh and there's somebody behind me too. Oh this is fun. Anyways on the oops so far today $53.98 let's check DoorDash shall we and there were three dashes for today $4.50 $12.22.25 right there so that comes to $38.75 on the on DoorDash. So let me just add these up. Please stand by. That comes to a measly $92.73. And I was, you know, whatevering for six and a half hours. Six and a half hours? Yeah, six and a half hours. And that comes to $14 and whatever change that says. It was a very, very slow day. I'm not impressed at all. <sighs> we can look at our acceptance rating. Let's look at the acceptance rating on the oobs. It is 28%. I think that went up a little bit. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm tired. And on uh, DoorDash, it is 26%. Ta-cha! That's all I have for you today. I went into, um, son of a bitch. I forgot to buy ice. <sighs> Our refrigerator is still, it still smells of chemical. And we have it taped shut. Thankfully, um, this the smell doesn't come out unless you open the doors. Um, but I had I had somebody come out through like the warranty company, and this was like two weeks ago. When was Christmas? It was like right after Christmas. So I had them come out, they sent this, as soon as this dude, like, I saw this dude, I was like, he's not going to know what he's doing. So he goes in there and he like, takes everything out of the freezer, okay, he opens the back of the freezer, he closes it back up, like, he gets like this steamer thing and like defrosts the freezer 
puts everything back in, tells me, and meanwhile, while, while he's doing this, I go in the kitchen and I'm like, do you know what's wrong with it? And he's like, not yet. I'm like, okay. So then he does, he puts all the stuff back and then he tells me, I cleaned the line at three o'clock if open it back up and if it smells like chemicals text me so I'm like okay so I do that and it reeks of the chemical smell still so I text him and I ask him when will he come back out to fix it or will they send somebody else to fix it I get no response so I call the warranty company and come to find out that dude told the warranty company that there's nothing wrong with the refrigerator it's just old and rusted now if you've been watching my channel you know that my refrigerator is not fucking old and rusted I just bought that shit in March it's a brand new refrigerator okay and this mother effer went and told them that it's old and rusted and I lost my shit <laughs> I lost my shit on the phone with the warranty company I'm like, they need to send somebody back out here. I'm like, we can't use the refrigerator because like everything in it, in the freezer, in the fr it has to be thrown out because like that chemical smell, it just permeates everything. It's in everything. You can't eat the food in there. You know what I mean? I'm like, so like, luckily I have the big freezer in back. So we have a freezer. We have plenty of frozen food. And then I have a cooler. So I've been buying ice basically just to keep like our drinks cold and a few refrigerated things eggs and lunch meat like just a couple things you know because it's not a big cooler but I've been doing this for weeks and so she's like okay I'm gonna contact the company and tell them to to send the, the person back out and I'm like no 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 I do not want that idiot coming back out here because he does not know what he's doing send some have them send somebody else who knows what they're doing then the company like the the fixing company of the refrigerator um responds to the warranty company and tells them we're not sending anybody back out we already told you there's nothing wrong with the refrigerator and then the warranty company tells me that if i want to have somebody come back out that they'll have to send a different company and I'll have to pay another $89 to have somebody different come out and I'm like you know what just can't just cancel just cancel this I'm not paying you anymore like so now I have a different I have different homeowners insurance so I'm trying to get in touch with that person to find out if the homeowner's insurance would cover something like this or if this is going to be something that I have to pay out of pocket and I came to the store to get ice and I forgot to get ice because I got stuff for dinner and then I forgot to get ice so I still have to get ice and I have my live today and I have to edit and I'm really tired my live might just be me taking a nap okay that's all I have for you today. This has been a Meaty Mama production. I thank you for watching. Please come back for the next episode. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.